Well, hello there, guys. It's sure been a while. That's because all I've been doing is trucking. And don't worry, this is not a trucking video. There hasn't been a whole lot going on. I just forgot, like, every single thing I have in this truck. You know, we'll just come get it later. Pretty much I've been trucking for the past two weeks, so there hasn't been a whole lot going on. But today, you guys can't see it, but I can. At the chicken barns, they are literally raising the roof at the moment of the old cooler room, which used to be our offices. For those that have been following us for a while, I think Jack gave an office tour a while ago, but it doesn't look like an office anymore, I'll tell you that. But we're gonna go over there and see what's up. Hopefully not have to break a sweat because, like I said, I've been trucking. I haven't really been doing anything. But, anywho, let's go check it out. What's that saying? I don't know how many horsepower I'll need, but I know how much I'll use. That was funny because we have a 8320 on an auger. Maybe it wasn't that funny. As you guys can kind of see as I pull around here, all that stuff back there, they're framing up, is a manure barn. They poured concrete, I believe, yesterday. And uh, the inside of these barns looks a whole lot different from when the last time I showed you guys. And as you guys can probably tell, there's not really a whole lot going on in the shop either. Although, this might be the tractor I lost my wedding ring in. Yes, I, I lost my wedding ring. Well, my actual one in a tractor. So, don't tell my wife. That was also a joke. She already knows. So now we can go check out the chicken barns and all the workers are gonna look at me weird because I'm carrying a little camera around. They already are looking at me weird, but the things I do for you guys, I tell ya. So this is how we're gonna do this. I think this is a little bit shorter. It'll be okay because the two by four is gonna go on that side. Yeah. As you guys can probably tell, I still get really nervous taking videos around people. So most of the times I just don't talk. So if you want a video explaining what they're all doing in there, you're asking the wrong guy. But we're jacking up, well, I can tell you we're jacking up the roof. I think to make more room for more storage. So I, so before we change the broilers, you know, I'll just start from the beginning. In 1998, 96, my dad, oh boy, I'm walking right through mud, put up those chicken barns. And then in 2015, when I was a freshman in high school, we switched over the barns to broilers, free range broilers. And now it's 2023 and we're going back to laying hens. Isn't that fun? So we're putting all the cages back in. Our offices used to be where they're tearing that stuff out. And we're gonna put back in the egg cooler so we can store eggs. Isn't that cool? So now this is our office. You can see there's the whiteboard, the conference table. And then one of our employees actually lives upstairs and the offices are right above us. There's two rooms, his bedroom, office. So, a little bit of a downgrade. I mean, it's still very nice. We still got our nice table. Just someone's desk is in the middle of the kitchen. So, a lot has changed. I don't think I really took any videos of the chicken barns since like June or May. And since then they have all the cages put in. Most of the cages in barn one and barn two is probably a couple weeks behind. I believe the date for the chickens is somewhere in September or October. Judging how far the barns are, I, I, I'm not gonna say anything because I don't wanna be wrong, but around that time is when we are expecting chickens. So that's 
exciting, I guess. I don't live, I mean, I live a mile away from here, so I don't have to deal with the smell, but my brother Charlie definitely will. He's definitely gonna have that chicken smell every day. So now we're probably gonna, I'll sh walk out back by the manure barn, and uh, there's a field of beans out here too, so we can walk out there with our dude shoes on. I'm not even a tennis shoe farmer. I'm a hey dude farmer. Plot twist, I don't even farm. I just walk around and take videos. I'm just not really good at it. Anywho, here's the manure barn. So there will be belts from the barns running out to the barn. All the manure will be in the barn. And then we will be able to spread the manure, that manure, on these fields. We farm, me and I would say, I don't know, over a thousand acres, 800 acres around our, like within the two mile radius of our farm, like the home place here. So it's kind of nice to be able to use our own manure. We didn't really have that as much when we had broilers. Before, when we had laying hens, we sure did, but we'll have that opportunity again. And here's some soybeans. You can see, I'm pretty sure I showed this in a video last year, but I know that not a lot of you guys were with us last year. Our hand weeding crew takes all the weeds, puts them in the center of the row, so they dry out like this and die. Like if you just pick them up, throw them back in the row, like in the row of beans, I don't know, not as good. So they put them in the middle of the row, lay them down, and most of the time they do that the first time, the cultivators come back over, cover them up, like a day or two after, so they dry out, and then we cover them up, get a good kill. As you can see, all like the root balls are still on these. Like if you just came behind and covered with dirt, I mean, chances are pretty slim. It could root back in and grow back again. So that's why we put them in the middle of the row, let them dry out, and then cover. Obviously, these beans are way too tall to cultivate. All shaded in, very good looking beans. You can see down the rows, they are looking very good. Hopefully, come October, late September, we can start taking out some corn. But looking forward to that, looking forward for something to do besides truck. And I'm sure you guys are too. Speaking of harvest and tillage and all that fun stuff that is not trucking, it's coming soon. I mean, hopefully within a month, 30 days, we can start taking off some headlands on some fields, some end rows. So what we like to do is we like to plant early day corn, like 96, 98, some earlier varieties on our end rows. So we can go, like before we start going, you know, full throttle, we can take off all the headlands, open up the field a little bit. Every when we do start, we don't, we don't have to wait for the combines to open up the field to bring trucks in, you know, the grain carts, all that stuff. If we take off all the end rows, open it up a little bit, disc the end rows, make them nice and smooth, everything just goes a whole lot quicker like first week in October when we really start going. Well, probably late September. I don't, I don't know the dates. It changes every year, but you guys get the picture. We like to be most as efficient as we can once harvest starts, and that's one way we do that. I'm pretty much just aimlessly walking around right at this point, trying to avoid work. It seems to be going pretty well. I would pretty much call this like an update video at this point. We're not really, not really doing any work. We're kind of just walking around and talking about things which sometimes is good. I mean, we do have a lot going on that I that I, you guys do not see on camera. Like we've been tiling now for a month. I have not gone out and took videos of that and I probably won't because once we get in the field, I'm not gonna be able to just take a day to go film videos. So like things like that, like the tiling, obviously the bin site in Emmicksburg, you guys haven't seen in a long time. Um, like all the cleanup after harvest, the combines, you guys didn't see that. So there's just a bunch of things that I, I don't have videos of and it's hard for me to just sit in a truck you know and talk oh dear and talk about those things because that's not a good experience for you guys so that's kind of the conundrum I butchered that word that we get in for those who watch our channel you guys know how horrendous the lighting in this shed is but here's the John Deere mower it doesn't even look you know I have a great idea all right look at that the lighting's way better now. I have my phone flashlight. So much better. This is the triple mower we got this year, the John Deere. We also have a Kloss, but this is the first year with the Deer. I don't know why it's in the shed, but it is. It's on an 8R280. And you guys can see I wasn't lying. All the combines, here, I'll make sure you guys can see, are nice and clean. Look at that. 
That was probably awful to watch. Anyway, back to the whole efficient thing on our combines. Just turn the lights off, that won't be efficient. Um, we do run 12 row folding heads, John Deere ones, so we can just drive to the next field and don't have to unhick our heads, which helps a bunch when you're just kind of zooming around first two weeks of harvest, opening up fields. Thought I'd throw that in there quick for you. Oy! I desperately need to power wash my pickup. So we're gonna pull over there now that Jacob's done and wash our pickup. I mean, the last time I washed my pickup, I probably showed you guys, which is never. You can fact check me on that, but that's how long it's been since my pickup has been clean. So yeah, you guys get to watch me do that. Man, that looks very nice. Man, it's like a brand new pickup out here. It's a shame it'll only be like that for like two days when it rains and then I drive on the gravel road to come to work. And then we're back to where we started. But I'll take it for now. Looks nice. Anywho, we're gonna go load trucks for tomorrow. Take another load of corn. Keep on trucking. Let's go do that quick. Well, it won't be quick. We gotta run a sweep auger. But let's go do that. If you don't roll your carp, you can't load corn. Don't ask me how I know that. So this is a Kenworth T680, for those that are wondering, the new model. So it's got the all digital display. You can kind of shuffle through what you want to see. Kind of cool. This truck's like driving a, like driving a pickup, pretty much. I mean, a lot of power, super nice truck. Actually makes you not hate trucking as much. It's kind of crazy. A good way to see how much they got done in the chicken barns is to see how many crates are left out here every day. Let me just tell you, they have gotten a lot of those crates moved into the chicken barns. Try not to put the truck in the ditch, that'd be good, Thomas. That would be smart. They've gotten a lot done since the last time you guys have seen them. So, that's very nice. You good in here, bud? All right. All right. So he's gonna run the sweep. Almost slipped in the moldy corn. Anyway, he's gonna run in the sweep in that bin. I'm gonna turn everything on here in the little building. This place is always fun. Anyway, okay. One, that one's on. Three. Hopefully we didn't mess all that up. I don't think we did. I think my dad said it's pretty much set up to go pulling from bin eight or pulling from bin nine, then pulling from bin four where the sweep is. So we should be good. So we got three trucks to load, four trucks to load. Takes about 10 to 15 minutes to fill the overhead up there. And Max is about 30 minutes away. So it should work out about perfect by the time we get my truck and then Willie's truck loaded that uh, we'll have the overhead full for Max when he gets here. My timing's probably off, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Overhead's empty, so it, it should work out. Cool little fun fact, this bin site was the first like actual bin site our family put up, and it used to only consist of that bin, which we moved here, that bin, that bin, and there's like two more behind. But that big, big bin right there, we put up in 2020. The one behind it was 2019, and I'll see, the one behind this one, right there, I believe was 28, 2018. So there's a lot of storage in this bin site, at this bin site, technically in. I don't know the number off the top of my head, but if someone comments and questions it, I'll find out if you really want to know how many bushels we can store at this bin site. But now that we're kind of spread out a little bit further north, I mean 80 miles north, this is like the most south part of our operation. So it's kind of not ideal 
to be trucking everything back here besides the fact that the shops here we have fuel I mean we have fuel in Emmitsburg too but it's just kind of nice it would have been nice if we would have seen about 15 years in the future before we put all these bins up but you know it, it's it's what it is we put up a new bin site in Emmitsburg should be really nice to have that over there this year So I pulled underneath this horribly, so now I have to back up, so I'm in the middle of the hopper. Luckily, I have this handy dandy app on my phone, I don't know if you can see that. We have a camera up on the overhead, so we can load trucks, like if you have a phone, you can look at the camera, the SWD camera, I'm sure people have heard of it, but super nice, super handy, especially lining up. And obviously you can load a truck by yourself if you know how to use the camera correctly. Alright, first truck down. Went a lot quicker than I expected. We're perfect. Right at 66,000 or 66 whatever on the air gauge, which means I should be right at 80,000. If anything, hopefully a little bit like 79. Because turns out it's illegal to be overweight. I'm not gonna make that joke. I was gonna make a joke, but I'm not going to. But anyway, we're gonna pull this back up in the yard and then probably hop in a gator and come back down and load Willie's truck and then Max's. Alright guys, I'd take you guys back down there to load two more trucks, but it's not going to get really any, any more entertaining than it was. Anywho, something serious I want to talk to you guys about. My grandpa Gary has been having some health issues. If you are a watcher of the channel, you'll know who that is. He's kind of the reason I started this whole YouTube thing. He enjoys watching the videos. He enjoys obviously the Larson guys up there in Minnesota, Millennial Farmer. All the big guys but he's always he's always watched our content and enjoyed it so if if you guys wouldn't mind just uh, saying a prayer for him and his health and just um, commenting you know hope you get better just stuff like that I'm sure it'd make his day um, yeah not super fun times for him early my family so your guys' support and just messages would mean a lot to him and to us and just yeah thank you anywho since there's no gators in that closet we're gonna walk down to the bin site load some trucks probably call it a day so thank you guys for watching today's video I know it wasn't the most exciting thing in the world but you guys is support of our channel just you guys watching it, liking it, obviously, subscribing means a lot to me. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, obviously leave a like. And uh, stay tuned for more content. Catch you in the next one.